आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ Over here we have to give an example of an organism exhibiting female heterogamity. Now this term is related to sex determination. We know that in most of the higher living organisms the mechanism for sex determination is chromosomal. This means that the gender of the individual is going to depend upon the type of chromosomes that they have and these chromosomes are known as the sex chromosomes. so over here we are talking about female heterogamity and such sex determination mechanism where females are heterogametic or females can produce different type of gametes is found in most of the birds this is known as zw type of sex determination and what we are going to see here is by zw type we mean that the male is going to have two z chromosomes this is the genetic makeup of the male whereas in case of the female there is a z and a w chromosome so there are two different types of sex chromosomes in the female now as a result of this what we are going to see when the male is making sperms when gametogenesis is occurring in the male body since all of the cells have only the z chromosome so when the germ cells are going to undergo meiotic division during gametogenesis all of these sperms are going to receive only z chromosome so all of these sperms are the same they don't have different type of sex chromosomes whereas in case of the female we are going to see there are two different types of sex chromosomes so when gametogenesis is occurring 50% of the eggs are going to have the z chromosome whereas the rest half of them the rest 50% of them are going to have w chromosome so over here because female has different types of sex chromosomes she is capable of producing two different types of eggs half of them will have z chromosome half of them will have w chromosome this is why we are saying the female is heterogametic and we can also say that over here the genetic complement of the egg or the female gamete is going to determine the sex of the offspring all of these sperms are z so if a sperm fuses with the z type of egg then a male progeny will be produced but if this sperm fuses with a w type of egg then we are going to have z w in the progeny and we will have a female offspring so this z w type of sex determination mechanism is found in the birds and over here we are saying z w in an arbitrary way actually it has nothing to do with the nature of the chromosomes themselves we are just saying z w to differentiate them from x and y because we say we have xy type of sex determination in human beings so just to denote that these are two different chromosomes this is a different type of sex determination mechanism we are using the letters z and w class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubtnet app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 par